one of the things I really want to get into is the um, the UFOs uh, subject because that's the subject of your film. And I'd like to start by asking you to tell us a little bit about what happened. You you stated that you had a close up UFO sighting on the road to Isfahan. Um, it was the the winter December of 1999, and I had this whole idea in my head that kept coming like uh, that I should go to Iran and tell my dad that look, according to Bible prophecy, there's a possibility that there'll be a war with Israel, and Iran will be a part of it. And if this happens, he should not agree with it in his conscience. Do we can do nothing about it, and because God is I would, was with Israel. And so that idea kept coming to my mind. I thought, okay, I got to do this. It seems maybe it's from the Holy Spirit. So I went down to to see him and his wife, and I told them this right on the very first night. And I got there, and I said Russia might be involved, and they would just politely thank me for it. And we all went to bed. Well, I went to bed. It was six in the morning, and and then later on that day, you know, my dad kind of called me out, and he said, Ali, Ali, come out here on the news. These Russian generals had arrived to negotiate a military pact with Iran and he said wow you know you said Russians would be involved and God used that and I said yes and he said well you telling me this book tells the future I said well yes and he said well that might be good for business I want to hear what you have to say <laughs> so he was a businessman and so sure. we sat down and we we got into the Bible you know starting with Genesis and we did the whole thing just the fall of man uh, the Nephilim, the, the birth of Israel, the Abrahamic covenant, the nations, the Messiah, the prophets. And by the time we got to John chapter 22, both him and his wife asked to be baptized. And I baptized them there in the house. And then they said, you know, why don't we go to Shiraz, which is where they're both from, and just go on a road trip and also see the rest of the family. And the road to Shiraz, it's an 11-hour drive, mm -hmm. and it runs through Isfahan. And they, the roads are dangerous in the sense that people speed a lot in Iran. It's one, it's one of the countries with the, the most amount of deaths on highways. Mm. So my dad likes to drive late, late at night. He's like, let's drive after midnight. There's less people. So now we're in the first leg of the journey from Tehran to Isfahan, where we're going to sleep, and then the next morning drive to Shiraz. And I have my back to the passenger door. Now we're well into the desert. Like We're past... The suburbs of the capital were past the, the first town that is after uh, Tehran called Qum, which is where the seminary is of all the clerics. And then now we're off into into the desert. It's like an Arizona-type stone rocky desert. It's not like sand dunes. And there's no street lights, just the odd light of the coming traffic. There's You can see the stars as well. And there's villages that are pit stops uh, for washroom and restroom and food. And I have my back to the passenger door, and I'm talking. We're now talking about the Bible 24-7. They're just mm. getting as much information as they can. And I'm so caught up in what I'm saying, you know, that I don't notice that my dad's wife is driving, and he's sitting in the middle of the back seat with his hands on, on the seats listening to me. Yeah. And she points the window outside, kind of behind my head, and... She says, Ooh, she makes these sounds like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I'm so caught up in saying that I don't pay too much attention. So I sit and, well, and he starts to look at her and says, Nima, what's wrong? And he then looks in the same direction. And now they're both doing it. And they're both going. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like thinking, what's wrong with you guys? So I sit properly in my seat to have a look. What are they pointing to? And there I see this giant spherical object it's huge if this thing were on the ground it would be like a three four story building and a very wide one but oh. it's it's random i can see divisions on it like there's you know levels i mean i think it's windows um but there are green lights all around it and as a result it's pulsating green it's just pulsating with a green light and it's coming down slowly eventually it's perpendicular to the car as we're driving forward and this black tube comes out of the ground that is the same color as the desert night if you were not this close to it you wouldn't have seen the tube it's just like the desert night like like it's camouflaged or something and this thing comes until it's right on top of it and the moment it appears 
on top of the cylinder, it just goes into the ground, the whole thing.